the song ends and you think Moon will talk, but another song starts. Hey, this is the game. This is the game song. I'm here. <laughs> uh, I just like to get, I try and get two sets of ads out of the way before the stream begins. So that gives me like an hour of no pesky ads. But unfortunately, the way Twitch works... It has to have like a minute or two's gap before you can roll more and I just try and get them gone and then begin. So, that and also I'm just messing around like a spanner but... <sighs> right, here we are. No, not Baloo in the river. Let's go again. Jungle Book. Game 60. Time flies when you're possibly having fun. But how are you doing? Whether this needed turning up or not yesterday, but I do it a smidge. If that's too loud, go get a Mowgli. Watching a friend playing Yakuza like a dragon. Our tale begins when Bagheera first heard a strange sound. The sound came from a man cub washed up inside a little boat. Bagheera knew that the village was too far for the man cub. He took the man cub to a den of wolves who raised him. Years passed, and news came that Shere Khan had returned. I wondered about because isn't Yakuza and Japan good like a dragon? Pretty much, yeah. That would be what it translates to. Ryuga Gotoku. I too was raised by wolves. <laughs> this is such an odd system to have. The bare necessities, just to explain, I guess, the bare necessities that you need to get through. But, uh, yeah. Is that loud? I can't decide. Yakuza like a dragon cord in Japan. Um, I don't know. Could look. Yakuza like a dragon. I don't think it's called that though. Yakuza like a dragon. Because I wondered if it was like a Resident Evil thing. You know where Resident Evil 7 was called Resident Evil? was called Biohazard Resident Evil 7. Oh, so Yakuza Like a Dragon in Japan is just called Yakuza 7. <laughs> mm. The direction of light and dark. Yeah, it's just Ryuga Gotoku 7. So I guess, I think it's probably to do with maybe just Western tendencies. Maybe they wanted to drop the number because, let's be honest, numbers do kind of put people off buying things. when They'll think like, you know, Yakuza 7. Well, I haven't played 1 to 6. So maybe they decided that, because also it's slightly different, isn't it? I think they perhaps just wanted to try and get a fresh audience. Maybe that's why they did it. <clears throat> Gameplay is very different. It's an RPG, isn't it? I've heard. I, I, I like the series, but I only I stopped at three. I didn't play three yet. Uh, the one that I was playing, I was playing. What which one is it? Kenzan, Yakuza Kenzan, which was Japan only on the PlayStation Three. So Yakuza Seven does make sense in some ways. I mean, yeah, it does. I think it does continue. All of them continue the story except the ones that don't have numbers. In, J in Japan. Chapter 1, Jungle by Day. Mowgli begins his journey to find the man village. I'll see if I remember anything of this game. It's not very good, is my opinion. I really am not very impressed with it. 
It's not terrible, it's just whatever. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Next time, beware. I just think that it's a far cry from Aladdin, and to say that this is one of the last Disney games on the Mega Drive, it feels like a step backwards. The animation's not great either. Like, what the hell is Mowgli? Look at him. What is that face? When you think about Aladdin on the Mega Drive, which is absolutely stunning, this just looks like ass in comparison. I mean, I think the backgrounds are nice. They're pretty detailed. Some of the, the sprite work, the sprite work's all right. But I think for 1994, this is a bit of a weak game. It's like Boogerman without all that wacky humour. Humour. <laughs> I also think that um, it's got very weak level design. Like, what is this m mess? You can't even see half of what you're doing, like the platforming and things like that. And the whole gimmick of having to find 10 jewels in the level in order to finish it is just... Uh, it's very kind of Western developer. Go around a mazy sort of level and find X items in order to finish. Yay! Because, you know, going linearly to the left is just so tired. I played this a lot on the Game Boy though, and I feel like the Game Boy was like, I don't know, better maybe. Not aesthetically, but it was just simpler. I'll have, I'll have to check it though. I think also, compared to other stuff too, I think the soundtrack is particularly weak. This doesn't sound like a Mega Drive soundtrack, it's got like no kick to it, I need to sneeze. Never mind. You know you need to sneeze and then just nothing happens. I'm sure I'll sneeze in a second. Try not to do it down the microphone. For me, looking into bright light, I'm looking into a bright light, the TV. Because I'm sitting in the dark. The only light is the TV. But I know what you mean. I'm not sure whether it's uh, looking into the light that does it or just the act of, usually because it's tipping your head back, I think is often what triggers it. The light just happens to be up. <laughs> Yesterday, I did the bonus and it kind of just seemed pointless. So I'm kind of wondering whether to bother again. Just finish the level. Because I got the bonus and it just seemed like score. Who gives a shit about points, right? This is going a little bit better than yesterday, though, I have to say. I was a little bit tired and a little bit <laughs> under the influence when I was playing this. And I was too busy enjoying what everybody was saying in chat, which was really interesting, so the game was kind of just like, background. Now I'm actually giving it a little bit more attention. I'm about to die though. It's a bit annoying. I can't see, see, this bit of the platforming I'm not really so sure about. Oh, there's a jam. Yeah, this music is just so low key for the Mega Drive. It's got no voom, no ve no bass. Oh shit! I don't want to die on level one. I might restart. I think I will. I'm also gonna be be a moment. My controller feels oily again. I'm just gonna be a second.
There we go. Should be better. Just need a little warm up. <clears throat> I mean, I could probably put this on practice mode, but meh. I think, as well, I was saying yesterday, I think the levels are just like so rammed full of crap. Don't need all this shit to collect, like all these fruits and whatevers. It's a bit much. What's the point of the compass? The compass tells you where the where the gems are, but yeah, that's it really. You have to find it. I think you'll find I pressed jump there, Mowgli. Never mind, we're going down. My controller's working. It seemed like it didn't respond then. I've been giving it a lot of hammer lately. I do have two controllers though, but I like to keep two. I always feel like because the, the bananas, the bananas are weapon, but I always feel like the enemies are always just like not quite the right height to hit with it. It's not very satisfying. And the platforming doesn't feel specifically tight. Like, you just feel like I always fucking miss. <laughs> Why can't I hit that snake there? <sighs> Are you for real? I can't shoot through the tree, but the snake can? What is that bullshit? Wow, that was rude. I'd like to finish this level without losing a life. Let's see. Yeah, so like I said, I think I might just go find Bagheera. I don't know. I just can't see most of what I'm doing. Ooh. That's the paw paw. You'll end up dead if you touch that. How do I get up? It see what I mean like that. It's very kind of confusing what's the background and what you can actually interact with. It's just a very messy game full of stuff. Oh. Oh, you tosser. Duck? Oh my god, Mowgli. Why won't he duck? I think the hit was making him stand up again. Whatever. Oh. oh, bastard, whatever. Ooh, do I start again or not? These snakes piss me off. I just feel like I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that life late. Oh <laughs> Well, that made that decision. I did manage to do all right though yesterday. I got up to level seven and I believe there's 10 levels. So might need that one later too, exactly. Right, playtime's over. Look for those bare necessities. 
everything just pin. Wow. These snakes just piss me off. Chimps with a stretcher. <laughs> oh my god, he ran off again. The jump is a little bit a little bit laggy sometimes. Oh, there's a he health thing there. They'll come to me. Oh, good lord. When he lands, he doesn't seem to jump very quickly afterwards. After landing, he seems to just stand there like a spoon. Yeah, it doesn't always seem to go. Wow, oh no. Oh, can you stop? Stop! See, <laughs> so look at this. Oh, why is that so low down? Oh, it did hit him. I thought the snake was going to be too high up to hit the banana. I'm half tempted to leave that heart there, but whatever, we'll get it. Do, 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 do. Minus 11C here. Brrr. It is pretty chilly here, you know. I've got my heating on and my hot mat carpet thing. How do I get up? Where's the thing? Oh, hi, Tinsar. How's it going? I don't know what it is here. I think it's four degrees Celsius. Ish. These snakes. These snakes. Just getting awake and some coffee. I could do with some awake. Well, actually, I couldn't, I guess, because it is getting late, but. Tomorrow I will want some. Oh gosh, talk about sleep and it sets you off, doesn't it? <clears throat> right, do you know what? Just sod this level. Give me this gem. I'm not going for the bonus. I don't care. I've got better things to do with my life than worry about bonuses on the Jungle Book on the Mega Drive. Because I don't think I'd do it if there was like lives up for grab, but I couldn't see any yesterday. So I'm just nuts. Although, I'm pretty close. No. No, 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 no. We'll leave him. Yay, level done. <coughs> Minus eight. Crank up the furnace. Minus 18C. That can't be right. Isn't Fahrenheit... Fahrenheit's way high. No, that can be right. Yeah. Fahrenheit's a lot higher, isn't it? Minus 18... That's nuts then. I don't understand Fahrenheit though, because what's freezing point for you? Is it not zero? Celsius, it's very simple. Once it gets to zero, that's freezing. Mowgli reaches the giant tree where Car, the snake, oh wait, it's 32 is freezing. But it's a bit of a pain in the arse to remember though, isn't it? It's a nice zero when, when the temperature is zero. That's when things freeze. <laughs> and that's why you have sub-zero temperatures. Minus. You know, it means it's, it's freezing. Sub-zero. Although in your case, it's sub-32. You know that character on Mortal Kombat, the palette swap. This is the level that was garbage. I didn't enjoy this level. It wasn't the worst defender, but it was one of them. Oh, no, 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 this one was actually all right. I just see zero is cold and 100 is hot in Fahrenheit. <laughs> well, no, you're wrong. 31 is cold. <laughs> I'm 
trying to think what boiling point is in Celsius now. I think it's 21. That can't be right though. 21? Why have I got 21 in my head as boiling point? Obviously I, I realise that 21 Celsius in, in weather doesn't mean that we all boil over. I think I've just said something very silly now. Well at least at minus 40 they are the same. The electric heaters. Doesn't this sound effect sound like something from Chakam? Not the Jungle Ball. This music reminds me of Oasis. Not Oasis. Home Alone. Oh, I said Oasis. Where the hell was my brain going? <laughs> Oasis. <laughs> sound is very strange. Ooh, indeed. Oh my god, why do the monkeys have to fall down when you shoot them? That's kind of trashy. Wow. Did you beat Booger Man? I did. How you doing, Thunderfoot? I kicked Booger, Booger Man's ass. Booger Man can bugger off now. Booger Man is done and we also did Barbie Supermodel. It was beautiful. 10 out of 10. Oh, go away, you wretched monkey. Excellent, just got home. We have a new emote now as well. We have a Mowgli emote. Can I get health? Mowgli's like about to cop it. When did I get an extra life? I've got five lives now. Things are looking up. In this teleporting tree. Sounds like some sort of futuristic endgame level in Sonic or something. Death Egg. That scorpion's gonna fuck me up. I can feel it coming. Look at him. He knows it. Just not today. Oh, elephant. Wow. Don't even, oh my God. There's so much crap in this game that he just, he grabs onto. Like why the hell can I grab on these vines? Oh, go away, scorpion. For some reason they refuse to call me even though I'm on the call list. The email list for missed deliveries. What the fuck? What even just hit me? I was like, I let go of the thing to like make chat bigger. Ah, oh, rude. Was it you down there, you little shitbag? Oh, what a mood. This porcupine. Is that a heart? No, it's not. Oh, how weird. There's an overscan look, but it doesn't include the fruit item that's there. That's bizarre. I can't even get it. Oh, we'll move on. These crazy bees are in the Game Boy version, and they used to drive me crazy. See, I don't know the... Oh, there's a heart right there. That's miserable. I don't know the Mega Drive version very well. I only said Genesis. Ooh, don't tell anyone. I don't know the Mega Drive version so well. I grew up playing the Game, the game Boy one, but I could never finish it because it's quite difficult. I got pretty far once, though. Most Game Boy games, though, were just difficult because you couldn't see. They didn't think through the, the run and gun mechanics on this game because most of the scenery just gets in the way all the time. Four gems. We have a boss fight on this level. It's actually a little bit rough because your default weapon does like barely no damage. Barely no damage. That means it does do no damage, right? You know what I mean. That barely does damage. I need to blow my nose. Excuse me.
made it through January. April's coming, I promise. I haven't gone too soon. Oh, there's, there's calm. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is not going very well. I can't even reach that. Oh! Where's he going? Oh, you swine! His tail got me! Oh! Don't like the bosses on this game. Oh, gems though. Maybe I should try and get the final gem. Call it a day. Is it going to be really far away? But it's down there somewhere. The elephant has it? Where is it? In the tree? Oh, it is, isn't it? Why can't I climb down this? It does trigger me. Ooh, must be in here. Where is it though? Can he not go up? Oh! Secret. Oh my lord. Where can this final gem be? I may as well. Oh, there's that crazy scorpion again. Where is it? All the way at the bottom. Up here, above. I don't. Don't follow. Oh! There. Go away. I don't want the mask. Bonus level, thanks. I need some health, though. Four lives. Did I get one back? Maybe it comes from score. Ooh! Look who it is. Mecha levels with a raid. How you doing? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hello, underscore sister. We're all underscores here. We're actually not, but oh well. Medieval 2. Yes, you were. Great game. I was enjoying watching that earlier. Michael Abbas is doing a PlayStation challenge. If you like console challenges, give him a follow. I got halfway through Medieval 2. Just all oh, the boxing bit. That's the bit that I remember. It's a bit shitty. Was not a fan. Although I would take the boxing over this horrible level design. Ugh. It was super easy. I just remember it being annoying. Was it really that easy? Maybe you have to do it more than once. I just remember it was a bit frustrating, but. in me. Ooh. Stop moving. don't die fast enough in this game. Oh! And the aim is always slightly off. Why aren't you dead yet? You bad one. Ooh! 
You have this game on the PC, is it exactly the same? You just up because of constantly in one. This is the Jankle book. It's just a bit blah, isn't it? See, this is a bonus level, supposedly, and I don't really know how the bonus level works. Like, all I can see is that it's just got points in it, which is not really that interesting. Unless points give you lives. Which I guess is nice. Unless it's like Cool Spot, where if you get all the items... I don't know. Grab that. Well, almost. It'll do. Why are his eyes popping out of his skull? He's just surprised to be in this game. The Dawn Patrol. The Dawn Patrol helped the man cub through the jungle. not going down there because there's absolutely no need. I guess we should get the fruits. I think it does give you lives. These snakes just they need to just pack it in. I am tired of their nonsense. Hop on the back. Ooh! How very rude. I don't like those elephants. No more. This feels like an entirely different game with the Jungle Book slapped over it. Yeah, it just. The whole bananas. Ooh! Run and gun thing. It really doesn't work very well. Wow! And I think the music's not really that good. It's very forgettable. Most of it's not even got anything to do with the film. Which Aladdin didn't have either, but Aladdin had generally good music. You tosser. Like I said before, you've got Aladdin, you've got the Lion King, and then you've got this. And this one, I think it came out after the Lion King. No, same time as the Lion King after Aladdin and it's just like they could do better because this is made by Virgin I think as well it's the same people but yet it's kind of crap I don't know why they didn't stick to the formula from Aladdin and Jungle Book uh, not Jungle Book, Lion King just being a plat and Cool Spot even well no Cool Spot has you collecting crap actually I don't know why we need to collect X, Y, Z amount of gems on every level in order to finish it. And then you also have to find the exit for the level. So busy.
Virgin developed most of this game, then quit the company. Oh, really? What do you mean, Virgin quit the company? Somebody else finished off, though. That does make sense, because it doesn't feel the same as the others. But this game in the manual advertises the Lion King coming soon, so I don't know. Was it just Virgin quit this game? Who made Hercules on the PlayStation? <gasps> you need to play Hercules, don't you, Mech? I might redeem that. I like Hercules. The me This fucking parrot! I'm having a conversation. This main program has quit Virgin. Oh. They handed it to Eurocom. Yeah, it's got that certain European vibe about it. Mind you, Virgin were British. Oh, but why can't I jump on this thing? Find Bagheera. Let's find Bagheera, eh? This parrot's gonna find a swift death in a second. I'm so glad that they squawk. Wow. Oh, I've only got two more gems. Is it worth it? Bore off. Oh, one more gem. We can get the last one, surely. Where is that? Oh, it's on the other side of a gear, isn't it? What if I go crack? Yes! Bonus level. Fantastic. Is it going to be the same bonus level, though? I've only ever done one. There's a big lack of blue in this as well. Oh, it's a different bonus level. Must be progressive. Same nonsense though, generally. Do, 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 do. Team of five people made Hercules. Seriously? It's a great game. It's very well made for the PlayStation at the time. It's very beautiful. Good way to showcase that the PlayStation is in fact different from the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive. Oh my god, they're jumping on this. Just fucking do it. Thank you. Spanner. Oh, whatever. Chapter 4. Mowgli makes his way down to the river where he meets Baloo. Find ten gems. I'm not even going near that turtle. Oh, this is the level that yesterday I finished by dying, I think. Oh, I was trying to jump on the parrot. I didn't even see the vines. Playing it on medium, I am, yes. I generally do go for the default, normal, medium difficulty. The only exception so far, there's two games I've done on easy. I'm trying to stop doing it now. I've done, I did that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that you redeemed. I did that on easy. And I also did the Lawnmower Man. Everything else I've done on normal. I'm, I'm just very hesitant with a lot of games too, like this one is called Practice Mode. It's called Practice, and there's a lot of Mega Drive games that when you play on easy you actually can't finish them. They just let you get to a certain point, like level 5 or something, and then it'll say, now try again on normal. They used to do that a lot, so I tend to just not bother instead of wasting my time. And also, it's that whole get good, isn't it? Get good. Can I get down there? I don't want to go on that turtle, thank you very much. And this game doesn't seem too difficult. I tend to go for normal, most games, unless I hate the gameplay and only want to experience the story. 
those kids are playing easy very easy. Modern games are, are never play on easy. Modern games are down. I always think that there's a certain expectation now with modern games where they're generally doable. But, you know, a couple of rational, like Lawnmower Man, is pretty rough. Even on easy, it's pretty rough. I could probably learn to do Lawnmower Man on normal, but... I don't know if I can be bothered. I've still left it. I actually was gonna th was thinking about it, but at the time when we finished Lawnmower Man on stream, I decided that oh god, I decided I was satisfied. The bosses are a lot harder on Lawnmower Man. They have a lot more health. I don't think that's necessary. What lawnmower man? On normal. This twat placement. Oh. But most of the games, I've just, I, I, I would do them on normal. A lot of the games don't even have to, like, have a difficulty as such anyway. It's usually either. Default or hard is what a lot of the choices are. Oh, piss off, these parrots. They'll be like normal mode or play on hard or crazy hard. Like uh, Blade Thunder Force 3, that, the default was normal. Then there's hard. And then there's mania. So I did, but I just decided to do that on hard because I've been enjoying my shmups and I wanted a little bit of a challenge that and I thought the bosses would be different. Anything modern though, I will always play on normal. I never do hard though. I'm not interested because usually it's not even interesting. It's just like, what's the word? It's just like inflated by, how would I get up there? That would be nice. It's that, it's that parrot, isn't it? I bet I've killed him. I don't find that there's actually that much. It's just what more health and things like that. How would I get up there? Whatever. So this is where Baloo was, and I kind of just died yesterday. Catch the fruit, but I didn't catch the fruit. I just fell in the water, and then it just says like, "Congratulations, you win." Oh. Uh, whatever. Oh, that didn't catch any fruit, but we still we still win. Yesterday I didn't even see any fruit. It just said catch. I was in a fluster. Like where's Blue getting ready to jump off the, off the level? And I just jumped straight into the water. Blue and the river. The only game that I've played on a harder difficulty. Blue helps the man club finish his journey along the river. Was Kingdom Hearts. I played that on proud mode eventually, and I enjoyed it. I like the extra challenge on Kingdom Hearts. See, I don't I don't even want to stand on blue. I don't I don't think I did yesterday. You don't need to. We could try it once, see what happens. Oh. Just like the movie with all these piranhas. Creepy frogs. Oh, that's how you get the compass there. I missed the compass yesterday. Do, do, do. I'd like to get off now. Ooh, there's Bagheera. Baloo's gone. I did, oh, actually, there is one game. I played Resident Evil Remake on easy. I perhaps shouldn't have done it in hindsight, but at the time I just really didn't want to deal with those those crimson heads. I just wanted to enjoy the game. And I find, I used to find, I still do, but I found the survival horror genre stressful. I really like the game, but I don't like the whole, like, worrying about ammunition and health and doing over because you think you didn't do very well and 
I didn't like the idea of the crimson hats. It didn't sound like a good time. So if you play on a lower difficulty, I don't think there are any. Ever. So you don't need to worry about burning the bodies, which was not was something that was really bugging me. What do you do with the heart. What is that bee going to do? Oh, no. Bees are following me. They're in my eyes. Oh, why did the monkeys fall down? Nearly dead again. There's a there's a big lack of health in this game. And an abundance of stupid parrots. Oh what? I think it's just like let go of the vine. This is on everything though. This is on the Super Nintendo, the Game Gear, the Master System, the Mega Drive, the Game Boy. Lives are definitely tied to points, aren't they? I've got seven, unless I'm finding them and not seeing them. I've got seven lives now. Soon to be six. One more gem. Oh, where's Bagheera? Let's just get out of here. Get out of here, Mowgli. There's a certain level of lag with the controls on this, I think. Oh, something's gonna kill me. I can feel it. Where's Bagheera? There he is. Just let's go. Don't need no bonus. We do have three continues as well. The tree village. Mowgli gets lost in a tree village as his journey continues. Oh, this is the level that I hated. It also, I didn't realise you could teleport in these houses, which got me confused for ages. Where's the compass? That would help. Wow, okay game. You're right. Doesn't the sound effect sound like it should be on chat arm? This crazy ass squirrel. You're literally typing that, yeah. Because it does. I might play, I might, not even joking, I might play Chakan again at some point. The save state bugs me. But I might just, you know, have a rest from it first. Exactly. I also need to replay James Pond 2 and Atomic Runner. Because I've got to clean, otherwise I can't let these games, because I've got a clean slate. The only one that I'm probably not going to do, and I might just leave save stated, <laughs> is Fantastic Dizzy. I just can't be arsed. It's a fucking long game. We'll see. It's annoying, but Chakan is a full and complete game. Unfortunately. Some things didn't need completing. Oh my lord. <laughs> 
This level is, is really garbage though. This is Western development to a T. Like what what is this nonsense? Oh, I don't need that heart. It's a waste. Did I hear T? Can I make more? <laughs> I, said, I said two a T. I was saying yesterday that the music in this this level reminds me of like Chrono Trigger or Secret of Evermore. Oh shit. Why didn't he grab that vine? That was clearly nonsense. All the tea. Right, you can grab the vine this time, thank you, please. That's crazy squirrel. Like, why are some of these animals so angry at Mowgli? Why is this squirrel trying to like rip his head off? Are they all like working for Shere Khan? All valid questions if you ask me. Ooh. That anteater. Wow. Right, one more gem. Then we can leave. Find the witch doctor. <laughs> the witch doctor's up here. If I recall, I'd love I'd love a heart. Ooh. I don't think I've been down here. Well, maybe I did. Yeah? Oh, I'm confused. And now we die? I don't know. Oh, back to the start of the level. over to the side. The witch doctor boss was a bit tricky yesterday, but I did sort of suss it out. I just uh, It's a bit of a risk if you waste your good ammunition. I kind of like want to get my health back before I go for it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So it's like, mm. should I waste the life or risk the ammunition? Because you don't get it back if you die. But just using the default bananas are so weak. Oh, here he is. Ow. Well, I think we're dead. It takes so much damage. Look at it. Redonkulous. <laughs> well, that's the end of that. Right, now we'll go again with actual power. Got a lot of weapons though. Oh, have I got max? Is there a max? Maybe not. Can hitbox on this clown. 
Oh, we're nearly dead again, for goodness sake. Oh, as if it was hitting the tree branch. Right, there we go. Oh, stop it. There we go. That's the best way to do that. Mystery one. But no bonus. Chapter seven, the ruins. No, so we got to chapter eight yesterday. The mischievous monkeys kidnap Mowgli and take him to King Louis. At least this has got some slightly better music, you know. I could probably try and get the bonus level on this one, I wonder. Oh! Yes, this here with a raid. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hello, the Irish Island. And Harold. Double sausage raid indeed. Thank you very much. How how far did you get on Final Fantasy VII today? I was watching a little bit early before I went live. Disc three now, right? Although, do you have discs? <laughs> Excuse me, Angel. Let's give Hysteric a nice big double sausage raid. I mean, no comment. We're playing Jungle Book tonight on my Mega Drive Challenge, game 60. Getting through them all. Boogerman is over. Barbie's supermodel was fully experienced. But welcome in. We finished Wu Tai. That's optional, isn't it? If I recall. Did you do the pagoda? I think you can do Wu Tai a lot earlier than that, actually. Oh no, you have to revisit it, don't you? When you've got the the material. Love the colours of this, very nice. Yeah. I think that's about as nice a sentence as I could say about this game. I don't think on the whole it's that good. It's no Aladdin, no Lion King or anything like that. Turns out, Mecha Lavos in chat was doing a bit of research. It seems that Virgin made this one and then some of the developers or whatever quit. And so they got another company called Eurocom to fit. What the flying fuck was that? Oh. Oh. There's just, it's just, 
I need to pause it a second because my brain can't. My this game is just it's so busy. It's just busy. There's no need for all this vomit everywhere of just things happening and background layers and you can't even see what's a platform and what isn't sometimes. We didn't finish Wu Tai, I have to do the pagoda. Oh. Alright, give me that heart. Get out of here. Where even are we? The sound of these rocks falling is certainly not welcome. One more time. And I guess because it's a jungle, everything has to screech in horrible animal noises. Parrots and monkeys and bears, oh my. I've got Mr. Blobby for Amiga here to go. I am thinking no on this one. What, Mr. Blobby or, or Jungle Book? Have you already looked at Mr. Blobby? Mr. Blobby's going to be big fat now. I'll tell you that for free. Although I'd, I'd, I'd like to see it. What the hell is that in the Jungle Book mythology? Crazy human skull shooting arrows. That's quite dark. So they, oh, these monkeys have like killed something and put its skull. Remnants of Chaka. <laughs> yeah, this was Chaka. And then they changed it into Jungle Book later. Is anybody else getting a headache from the sound of the falling rocks in this level? Because I am. Um... Mr. Blobs. Okay, it waits next time you drop him. It sounds very dire. Oh, this aardvark thing. I don't know if I want to get the bonus or should I just finish the level? Mr. Blobby is my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> what the hell are all these sounds and what the fuck is this music? It's just vomit. If it's really loud, I can turn it down if it's too bad. Hey Sadie, how's it going? No! Swines. I might even use, I should probably just use my mask. Oh, I don't know. It is chaos. It's not a good idea. Do, do, do. Oh, the end. Oh well. How you doing, Big Tom? Balance is fine, it's just cursed as hell. Not balanced in my ears. Chapter 8. Collapsing Ruins. This is the level that I got up to yesterday when we stopped. Good, my cat is telling me to wake up. Well. I did Whoops, I didn't even read that. What did it say? Mowgli must find King Louis at the top of the ruined village. How is this game going? Chapter Dreams has was There's only ten chapters, I believe. This is as far as we got yesterday before we swapped over to Barbie Supermodel. You know, I did kind of force that. We're heading to work, paying the usual. Yeah, I've got work looming over my head tomorrow. I'm going to have to go to bed early tonight, sadly. <laughs> this level looks like it's going to be a killer, though. Woo! Woo -dee -doo. Oh! I've not done any. So the, I have no knowledge now. We're going in blind. Ah! What a fun level this one is, right? I'm guessing death is back to the beginning. Death is but a release. Oh! Whatever. Elephant just saved me. What is that elephant doing, though? Is that elephant now dead? I'm sorry. Oh! Oh. 
Are we not allowed to finish the level now? What the hell? <laughs> Late hello to the Raiders. Was on hold on the phone for like 30 minutes. Isn't that much of a mood? So what happens now? Are you going to respawn? Thank you. Do, 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 do. We've got to get these gems still. Ain't got time for gems. The ruins are collapsing. Didn't you read the level description? Oh! <sighs> what does he want the gems for in the context of the story? Do, do. Do, 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 do. Where am I jumping? I can't even see. Where's the camera? What the hell? Leap of faith. Gotta believe. Find King Louie? I'd rather not. I suspect he's a boss. Ah! Oh my god, elephant please, before we die. Thank you. <sighs> this is just... Oh, there's King Louie. First you see King Louie and then you die. Not allowed. I'm bummed. Because I was supposed to... Sorry, I wanted to leave that for dramatic effect. I'm bummed because I was supposed to have, have these two weeks off. But my doctor called out. So I couldn't get my water a bit over the weekend. <laughs> Thank, I'm so glad that I read that out loud. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it is sad. But that's quite the story. <laughs> No, I have been following the saga of your dermatology appointments on Twitch. Ooh! Because Big Tall is another fellow console chat. Whoa! Challenge streamer. At least I have the sound effects and cursed MIDI tracks to brighten my day. This music shit for the Mega Drive. It can do better than this. King Louis is just bopping around, isn't he? What's he doing? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. King Louis. Calm your tits. I think I'm going to let let myself die. Not waste all my ammo because I feel it's going to be tricky. While I figure out how I'm doing this. Oh, look at him go. He's knocking the bananas away. Oh. There's so much lag with the controls on this game. No. For what the game wants me to do, I don't feel like the controls are tight enough. Oh, not losing my health on the way to the boss would be a good idea. Can we get up there? I've been there, I don't know. Can't even see. Where's the next platform? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> Are we going to start this fight? How do I get through those attacks? Bugger, I'm wasting everything. This fight is kind of crap. I can't seem to duck to jump that banana and then get me down in time to avoid the others. I don't... Oh, these spikes. They've been bothering me. Oh!
He ain't even fucking around, is he? What's he doing? How the... How do I dodge that banana? Oof, like that, maybe. Oh, I'm not even reaching. I can't get down in just a little jump. Okay. Right, well, this is a, a rip. It's that like fucking yellow devil, this is. Hysteric moo hoo hoo. <laughs> be like you hoo hoo. <laughs> well, if he wants to be like me, he needs to, you know, chill the fuck out. At least we have tea. Oo woo. Really kind of ball. Oh. I'm not even look at his health, I've barely even scratched him. I'm never gonna do this. Because I've blown all my weapons. He's got so much health. Ugh. That second banana. No weapons left. Booby <laughs> doo. You were to be. Will you just start the fucking fight? <laughs> It's kind of bullshit. Oh, fuck off, King Louie. Oh, that's the wrong attack.
I'll just die, you fucking monkey. <laughs> Woo! Well, I think I figured it out, mate. You gotta do tiny jumps in between the bananas. Tiny jumps. If you press jump properly. Whew. Woo, plenty of time. How you doing? Bloody hell. Bonus level. Oh, did we get all the gems? Fantastic. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oops, missing everything. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Now the whole temple falls apart. Yep, yeah, man has done what man does best. <laughs> Wiped out all the monkeys, including their king. They're not a timer. There we go. There's the cherry on the cake. Is there any more? I think we've got everything. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I've been here for a bit, but that looks so intense. I didn't want to move, chat, and distract. I know, right? It's a thing, isn't it? Sometimes I just ignore at that point. I was so like, ooh. Night falls as Mowgli's journey nears and its end. Well, thank Find ten gems. Oh, he's buzzing about it, isn't he? Go away, monkey. Oh, piss off. What is it with bats in bloody games? This music's very intense. Shere Khan is coming. God. Jungle books just. I'm not feeling Mowgli's like idle animations in this level. It's all very intense. The tiger cometh. <laughs> oh, you know. It would be too much to ask to shoot up through, isn't it? Why make a run and gun game where you literally can't shoot most stuff? It's just more effective to just jump on them. Oh, look at that owl. It says, give a hoot. Oh, fuck that owl. <laughs> Why everything is trying to kill Mowgli? There's some real human hate going on here. Fuck you, owl. Very tense. He's just screwing around with these bananas, right? He was raised by wolves. Bum bum. I mean, I don't know. Get that heart. Twelve more gems to go. I bet even those fireflies probably hurt you. Why are the monkeys still going? I killed your leader. <gasps> that bat's coming. Oh, the fucking crazy squirrel! <laughs> Was it a bat I saw? Ow, oh, indeed. They know Mowgli on a mission to just kill all the random animals in this game with bananas. Oh, was was Sita Basita? <laughs> oh, that poor person. I'm so sorry I butchered their username. <laughs> that was one follow I'll never be getting. <laughs> Was it a bat I saw? Was Sita Basita? <laughs> Ooh! Well, we're still using the same enemies. Look at that owl! That owl! I mean, anybody think he'd like pissed in his soup or something with that face that he's got going on?
Oh, look at these squirrels, they're ready. That mask could be of help. There's Bagheera. Matt, Bagheera needs to wake the hell up. You know, and start choking some of these flying squirrels. One more jam. Do, 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 do. That's some... Can I even get that? Is this gonna kill me? I've got a thing. Oof. Yeah! Is this the final level now? Chapter X The Wastelands. Shere Khan waits at the end of the wasteland before the man village. Gulp. I'm just wondering why are there even squirrels in India in the jungle? I don't know. Good point. Maybe there are though. Like, Mowgli's still gotta find 10 gems. This is not the time for finding gems. Indian jungle squirrels. Whoa! Why is there lightning here? What's that? A hyena? Wait a minute, where are we? Are there hyenas in India? Oh gosh. Oh, there's that elephant. know where all the other gems are though. I don't want to miss some of them. Why is standing behind it under the tree helping me? I don't think it should be. Isn't a tree like the worst place to be? This random bolts of lightning is kind of a bit of a trashy level design. Crap. Well, I want to get the gems in the easier places. You know, this is the final level. So do we get a bonus level still? For getting all the gems, it's kind of not useful. Oh. There it is. Oh, mother... I was about to get that heart. That was awful. Whatever. I've got loads of lives. I don't care. Stupid game. Oh, how do I get up there? Whatever. Du, 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 du. Eh? Is that the end of the level? Bum, bum. How am I supposed to get to this gem? Not follow him. Wow. Maybe this way? down from above, yeah. But I'm gonna try and get these other things while I'm here. Ooh, there's more. I only need one more. Somewhere. That, that heart will do. The jump is so very laggy. Oh my god. When he lands and things. Oh, there it is, but I can't get there. Wow. 
find Shere Khan. Oh, I want that stuff. Missed it. Can I get back up? Maybe not. What is with this crazy lightning bolt? Right, well, there it is. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Uh oh! Oops! Don't remember the music from the movie. It's from the uncut version. Whoa, bloody hell, that hurt. Oh, shit. Now I've got no... None of those banana weapons. <sighs> that was a gamble that did not pay off. Oh, fuck off, lightning bolts! Oh, that's trash. Now I don't even want to do the boss. I might lose. Oh my god, it's just hit me twice! What the fuck? <laughs> just die, Mowgli. No cursing or swear, you'll be lucky. <laughs> that is the final boss. Game's trolling me. Whoa! Now I want the fucking mask. Why is this not dead yet? Oh my god, just get off. Whew! There we go. Did I swear? I don't know. As our story comes to a close, Mowgli makes his way through the final stretches of his life and dies. Journey towards the man village in reaching the pla- Can I enjoy my own ending, please? <laughs> what is it with these games? I've worked for this. Let me read. <laughs> Did I swear? Refund. I don't know. Did I swear? There's no refunds on that redeem. I think you know what you're getting yourself into. Cannot help thinking, as Baloo did, that he would have made one swell bear. The little girl was singing a song about a village. See, you just chasing a bit, wasn't he? I must go to fetch the water. Oh, are you for real? Oh, I'm not controlling this. Would have been nice if they'd have let me, you know. Excuse me. Oh. Congratulations, you've completed the Jungle Book. Your final score is... Who gives a shit? But can you do it on the hard level? Yeah, I just don't want to. As opposed to making a bear swell. <laughs> the connotations of that. And then everyone died, yeah. <laughs> Mo and then Mowgli found his people, returned to the jungle, and made a new hat. Virgin UK producer Matt Spall, Randy Fujimoto, that's quite the name. Animation by Mike Dietz, Edward Schof Schofield, Doug, I wonder if it's a relation of Philip, Roger Hardy, or Hardy Roger, Bob Steele, 
Christian Lawson. Oh, these are the background artists. These are the people that didn't know when to stop. Tommy Tallarico. Music by Tommy Tallarico. Oh, there's your, uh, he did the effects as well. Ooh. I love music by Dr. Steven. Hashtag Swalbear. <laughs> Virgin Studios. Production coordination. Christina Camarota. David Maxey. Paul Moore. Mike MCCAA. That's not a real name. Is it? Oh, maybe it's a foreign name, actually. Bijan, Bijan Shahir. David Fries. Bijan Shahir. He's doing a lot of stuff, this Bijan. Jared Brinkley. Virgil the Cat! That's not a real name. <laughs> Chad Soares. <laughs> These are like <laughs> phone prank call names. Justin Heber. Bert Palacini. Seth Mendelssohn. Ben Medina. Henry Nagel. And Mick Love. <laughs> Tim Rogers and Tim Swan. Hube <laughs> Huge bins. <laughs> St <laughs> Steve Bedser. Steve Wilding. Adrian Mannion. Mark Hetherington. Longest name of the so far. Steve Duckworth. Andy B. Nigel Bentley. Andy Smithers. Simon Carrigan. Robert Watkins. You're having way too much fun with it. I know, right? This is the best credits I've read since, like, some of the Japanese ones the where they don't use their real names. Yuki's Papa, whatever it is. Huge bins. That's my favourite one. <laughs> yeah, man. What? Yeah, man. Oh, I get it, yeah. It's from the movie, isn't it? I see what they did there. Genius, true fans of the art. <laughs> Walt Disney's classic. This is not Walt Disney's classic. <laughs> this is Virgin Interactive's mess. Well, that's another game done. That was that was nice to get it out of the way. Another game is over. No, Jungle by Day. Uh, game completed. 60 games. Amazing. 60 games in two months, just about. 